Welcome back everyone. This will be my brand new Punisher Marvel video. Apparently he's coming back in the MCU. I think we all assumed that he was, but now it seems like we have some confirmation. So I'll explain what's going on because there's a lot of confusion about what was confirmed and what's actually happening with the Punisher character in the MCU. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. We're going to have She-Hulk episodes starting really soon. Daredevil is coming back again in a much bigger way than he came back in Spider-Man No Way Home. So of course when Daredevil does show up, we'll be talking a lot about the Marvel Netflix characters just in general. All of them slowly coming back through all these different projects and eventually the Daredevil Born Again series. But the big thing happening this weekend that blew up that everyone was talking about is that we're in the middle of convention season, so that's why we're hearing a lot of the actors talk about all these new Marvel Phase 5 and Marvel Phase 6 movies and Disney Plus series. And as part of Daredevil and the Netflix characters coming back in all these Marvel projects, like Kingpin is another recent one, Jessica Jones is coming back, Punisher is coming back in upcoming projects. Rosario Dawson was specifically talking about John Bernthal's Punisher character, so here's the clip of what she said. Okay, so... They don't I have to found out. out or yes, I found out yesterday because I hadn't heard. I hadn't heard that announcement, but I found out yesterday that the Punisher was happening again. So I feel like it's my second chance because it was the only one of the shows that I wasn't in, and I love John Bernthal. So let's all make it happen collectively, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Be so happy to bring Star Temple, nice night nurse back for sure. So what she's saying there, she's responding to a fan saying, when is Night Nurse going to come back in the MCU? Because she currently said that she doesn't have a contract with Marvel. Like she's doing all this Star Wars Ahsoka episodes right now. It's going to be fantastic. Can't wait to see all those Ahsoka episodes. There's a big Disney Plus day that they're going to have next month where they'll release a lot of those Disney Plus trailers for like the Mandalorian Season 3 trailer. We'll hear more about the Ahsoka series, a lot of the Marvel series that are coming up. So of course I'll do trailer videos for all that stuff that they release. But what she's actually saying is that she heard the Punisher is coming back to the MCU and she's hoping that it becomes an opportunity for her to have some scenes with John Bernthal's Punisher as her, Claire Temple, the Night Nurse character, didn't actually appear during the Punisher Netflix series. Like that was the only big Marvel Defender series that she didn't get to be in. But after all the news about the Punisher coming back in the MCU just blew up last night, Rosario Dawson did the obligatory follow-up post to address her comments saying the boilerplate, I have no idea what he'll be doing in the MCU when he comes back. Like she was saying specifically that she doesn't know whether he's just coming back in Daredevil Born Again or if he's going to get his own Punisher Disney Plus series. Also, Kevin Feige and the Marvel snipers were on that like white on rice. So like they definitely have their snipers put on her. First rule of bringing all those Netflix Marvel characters back is the actors don't talk about the Marvel Netflix characters coming back. So if you see reports from people or websites saying that she confirmed that there's a Punisher reboot happening at Marvel, that's not correct. That's not what she was saying. Yes, she did kind of confirm Punisher is coming back in the MCU eventually, but she just doesn't know exactly how they're going to handle that. It's very much like Andrew Garfield, Tobey Maguire, and Daredevil coming back in Spider-Man No Way Home. Like, we heard rumors, news, reports about that more than two years ago as of me posting this video. That's how long ago it was. Like, good example is that Andrew Garfield actually revealed, and he wasn't lying about this part, is that they all signed their contracts to come back around December 2019 or so. That's when they finished talks. The movie didn't come out till December 2021. That's how early in the process we found out about them all coming back. And when that happened, when the news started breaking, like you started to hear people talk, hey, I think the Daredevil is coming back. I think Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire are coming back. Charlie Cox, Andrew Garfield were like, we're not coming back. We don't know what you're talking about. But that's cool that fans think that. And I did see it. And it's a Photoshop. Oh. I am Spider-Man in my world. But then yesterday... Clearly, that was not a Photoshop. What I think is actually going on with John Bernthal coming back as Punisher is that first, Kevin Feige was never going to recast the character, so it was never an issue of them like completely doing a new version of the character. And secondly, it was more a matter of them waiting for the right time to bring him back, just with the overarching plot of Marvel Phase 4, like what is actually happening in the MCU in present day. So the right time to bring him back, as you all probably assumed, is the Daredevil Born Again episodes. There's a lot of stuff that they want to set up with that series, so that's why they gave them so many episodes, so many more episodes than the other Disney Plus series. They confirmed it for 18 episodes. Whereas most Marvel Disney Plus series only get like 6 or 9 episodes, just so they can make all these contracts early on and set it up so that they have all the actors and the characters that they want when they get to those later episodes. That won't start airing episodes till spring 2024, looking at the Marvel Phase 5 schedule here. Punisher could always come back in cameos before that, but I don't think we're going to see him until the Daredevil series at the earliest. It's the same thing with them doing a Thunderbolts movie, like waiting for the right time, introducing a version of that team when it's the right time with the plot of Marvel Phase 4, Marvel Phase 5. 
Like, they're meant to be Thunderbolt Ross and Val's dark answer to the Avengers team. And during Avengers Endgame, they basically fractured the team. Like, a couple of them died. R.I.P. Iron Man and Black Widow. Captain America turned into an old man. Scarlet Witch had a total mental breakdown and turned into a full-blown multiverse villain for a hot second. So after all that stuff happened in rapid succession, Thunderbolt Ross kind of pulled a Thanos and said, if the Avengers won't listen to the orders that I give them, like we already saw that the Avengers don't care what he thinks, fine, I'll do it myself. And Thunderbolt Ross and Val's version of doing it themselves, doing the job of protecting the world their way, their darker way, is the Thunderbolts team. And it implies towards the end of Marvel Phase 5, because Thunderbolts is like the last movie in Marvel Phase 5, that by that time... Captain America New World Order, the Thunderbolts movie, the current state of things in the MCU will be super dark. For instance, that's why the Daredevil Born Again series isn't happening till like right around that same time, because during that we're also supposed to be doing a version of the Mayor Kingpin storyline from the comics. Like part of Kingpin's upcoming story throughout the Echo episodes and then the new Daredevil episodes in the Born Again series after that is that he's going to be running for Mayor of New York City. Think of how dark things are going to get in New York City when he becomes mayor. It'll be hardcore. That's the kind of environment that Punisher would flourish in. The rise of all these villains, like all these bad anti-hero characters just thinking that they can get away with whatever they want to. And also, the Punisher character is kind of an anti-hero himself, with more of a light side alignment. Like, he's the darkest you could possibly get as a character and still think of him as a good person or redeemable in some way. And also, it just makes more sense to bring him back in the Daredevil series because he debuted in the Marvel Netflix series in Daredevil Season 2. His debut was also probably one of the best episodes of Daredevil ever, just like their rooftop fight with him chaining Daredevil up. They used that in all the promos. It was such a big deal. Daredevil will have multiple costumes in the upcoming Marvel projects, like the yellow is just the start of that. So it'll probably be the same for all the other Marvel Netflix characters. But like, really good example, though, is like Jessica Jones and Luke Cage. They don't wear suits. Like, they just wear normal clothes. Can we find a yellow shirt that looks kind of like the old yellow shirt? Yeah, pretty easy. Speaking of other Marvel Netflix characters coming back, even though I don't talk a lot about the other Daredevil characters, because like Karen Page, for instance, is a big Daredevil and Punisher crossover character, most of those core characters from the original Daredevil Netflix series are all coming back. Like Eldon Henson's Foggy Nelson, I believe is supposed to come back, and I believe Karen Page is also coming back as well. I don't know if they'll be back in the Echo series, they might be, but they'll definitely be back in Daredevil Born Again episodes. Part of the idea is that I think that Daredevil will just be in most of the Echo episodes with Kingpin. They won't be in like every single episode, but they'll be in most of them. And it's sort of like them easing back in to the Marvel Netflix characters. Like, we'll give you a little taste in Spider-Man No Way Home, and then obviously Kingpin in the Hawkeye series just a little bit, then a little bit more during the She-Hulk series, and then even more proportionally in the Echo episodes next year, then obviously them in every single episode during the Daredevil Born Again series. You also probably noticed that Marvel put all the old Punisher episodes on Disney Plus along with all the other Marvel Netflix series like all the Daredevil episodes, the Luke Cage episodes, Jessica Jones, even the Iron Fist episodes. Yes, even you, Iron Fist. All those are on Disney Plus now and it's just sort of to get people ready for the characters coming back in a bigger way. Like, oh yeah, by the way, we're bringing these characters back. Why don't you go back and you watch all these if you skip some of them? So everybody posts all your predictions about John Bernthal coming back in the Daredevil Born Again series. What do you think they're going to do with the character in the future? Right now, I'm just expecting cameos, like smaller appearances, kind of like the way they used him in Daredevil Season 2. I'm not expecting them to give him like his own solo series during Marvel Phase 7 or anything like that. I don't think that they're quite to that point yet. But like I said, Kevin Feige is never going to recast the character like John Bernthal is the Punisher. It was the same thing with them bringing back a version of Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin. Like, he said that when there was the chance that they got the Spider-Man characters back, like, way back in Captain America Civil War, when he knew that it'd be possible to do some of these Spider-Man characters together, he said that he at no point ever considered recasting the Green Goblin character. Like, he said he always felt like it was Willem Dafoe. It's the same thing with a lot of these Marvel Netflix characters. So, like, even though we don't know about Luke Cage coming back yet, he's not going to recast Luke Cage. Like, Mike Coulter will always be Luke Cage. So they're just waiting for him to be available to come back. That's why Kristen Ritter is coming back as Jessica Jones. We know more about her coming back. Like, she is confirmed to come back. But big reminder, my She-Hulk episodes are going to start in a couple weeks. Make sure you enable alerts for my channel so you don't miss those. There'll be a lot of other big series starting that I'll be doing episode videos for, but I'll talk about those in my separate trailer videos. They even just dropped a brand new She-Hulk trailer, so I'll do a video for that next. Everyone click here for my new Daredevil vs. She-Hulk trailer video, and click here for that really cool Ghost Rider She-Hulk Easter egg. Thank you so much for watching, everyone stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.